Hello you guys! I'm sorry, I just woke up, I showered and now I have a ton of energy. It's 7 in the morning. Anyway, now I'm here and I'm thinking how to make today interesting. And I want to stay at home, so I want to stay here and I want it to be fun. One would think that after the last year we would be experts of that. I'm not to brag, but I'm kind of good at it. I can totally have fun at home on my own. So today I want to do a challenge. I will eat only one color of food for 24 hours. And who will decide which color? Not me. I'll have someone choose the color for me. When I woke up, the sky was beautiful. It was pink and blue and just amazing. Oh my gosh, I'm tired. This camera is heavy. Ooh. Yeah, pretty, pretty. Look who's coming. Hello, Jenny. She's always with me when I'm outside. It's such a cute name. Obviously, Mystery Wheel will decide which color of food I'm eating today. Out of these options, I think my favorite is yellow. Think about it. Yellow. You have potatoes, you have bananas, you have pasta, you have cookies, you have bread, you have everything. All the good foods are yellow. Are yellow. Because imagine if I get, I don't know, this one. Pink, purple. What is this? Plums? Any other food? Maybe grapes? Some grapes are this kind of color. I don't know. That would be so difficult. The red one, I can only think of strawberries, apples. I think everything except yellow will be difficult. Okay, let's spin the wheel. Yellow, 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 even the yellow. <gasps> Green. Green is not that bad. It's gonna be a hella healthy day. Salads. Spinach. Everything healthy is green. Okay, so we're having green fruits for 24 hours. This is gonna be fun. Usually the first thing in the morning, I like to have some tea, but since we're going for green today, I'm gonna have this chlorella. I hope it's not expired. Oh, 1121, we're good. I'm just gonna pop all of it into this glass because there's not much left. There's not much left. Oh, maybe that was too much. <laughs> this was a lot. There's only a little bit left. Okay, I'm gonna go for the entire package. This is gonna be strong. so foamy. Why is it so foamy? Do you think this is good? Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna drink this and I'm gonna try to put on some green makeup. Green lid check. Okay, let's do our makeup and infuse it with a little bit of green. I have some green stuff in here. You can see some glitter. We have some green eyeshadow, green lipstick. We have potential. We can do something from it. <coughs> I'm gonna start with the usual and then I'm gonna add like a green eyeliner, maybe green lipstick. We're gonna see. Here I also have my everyday makeup bag where I keep my staples. That's what I was looking for. Brow gel. People spend so much time on their brows. I just go few swipes. Don't know how to deal with that. Is it time for the green eyeliner? I think so. I'm gonna use the eyeshadow. Keep in the angled brush. Try to do a line with it. Keep forgetting to drink this chlorella. I know why. Keep the brush in here. This is not working. Oh. I have here another eyeliner in a pencil form. Well, I definitely have some green going on on the eyes, but you have to look really closely. I like that. That's good enough. Lips. I have three green lipsticks. Oh no. This one looks nice, like a dress tree. Should I go for this one? Let's try it. Okay, this looks crazy. What is this look? Oh no. Can you guys take me seriously with those lips? Because I cannot take myself seriously. But I'm gonna wear that. Right, makeup is done. And I forgot to drink this. Now I have to just go for it. Next on the agenda, we have to dress up. Let's go pick the outfit. I have no green shoes, so I'm gonna pick these ones. I'm starving now, we gotta make some breakfast. I found three zucchinis and a big old leek in my fridge and I'm gonna make a soup. Actually, most of the mornings I like to eat soup. But I make it from zucchinis and carrots and onions, garlic. But we cannot do that today. Zucchinis and leek. We're gonna try it and I'm gonna tell you if it's any good. I already washed all my veggies, so I can now just chop them. I put a bit of olive oil into the pan and then I throw in the leek pieces. Then I'm just gonna leave it here to cook for a little while. And I'm gonna stir it in between. While that's cooking away, I'm gonna chop these zucchinis. And I'm not gonna be precise because I'm gonna blend this soup anyway, so we don't need the exact same pieces. The leeks smell amazing and they're also nice and soft, so I'm gonna add all of my zucchini in here as well. And I'm gonna cook it now just for a few minutes more and then it's time to add some water. So far this smells like it's gonna be a really good breakfast. We got the water and I'm gonna pour in just enough so that it covers all the veggies. 
While waiting for this to cool. Remember when I made mango sorbet and it was delicious? What if we make the same thing with kiwi? These are also very nice and soft, so I think the sorbet is gonna be amazing. We're going to slice them. I'm gonna make little chunks like this and put in a plastic container. This has been cooking for about 15 minutes and it looks fine to me. All the veggies are soft, so I'm just gonna try to mix it into a creamy soup. <laughs> I came to eat my breakfast outside because green background, check. Let's try it out. I've never even done a leek soup. Maybe it's good. It smells like leeks. This is actually super yummy. For the fact that this is only zucchini, leeks and some water. Two ingredient recipes. This is delicious. You would add some onions, some garlic. Oh, I have parsley. I have parsley in my fridge. Oh, wow. I'm gonna use the parsley for lunch or something. But yeah, this is really good. I'm gonna eat this very, very happily. This was yum. Next up on the agenda, I have to brush my teeth. Yep, I'm the kind of person that does it after breakfast. Green toothpaste, check. My lips got kind of washed off, like what is this? I think we need to say goodbye to them. This is too much. <laughs> goodbye, green lips. You are fine, but just for a few hours. Pink lips, much better. Guys, besides the makeup and the clothes, I thought about another thing that we could do green. And it's beauty related. The nail, the nail polish. polish. Here is the majority of the nail polish that I have. And I know I have some greens in here, so let's find them. This one, another one, and these two. Which one should I choose for my nails? This one is kind of like a Shrek green. We have a very beautiful pastel milky green. This one is also super pretty. It's also pastel but just a bit more potent. And then we have this very spinach-like green. Which one should we go for? I dislike this one the most, but I think we should go for this one because this one actually reminds me of green food. Spinach, leeks, zucchini. This is the foodie green. So we're going for this one. I already have a base coat on. But in any case, my nails are already stained because before I was wearing a red hot pink nail polish. And those nail polishes, they just stain your nails. No matter how many layers of base coat I put on. I always get yellow nails after wearing them, so stay away from red nail polishes, guys. Okay, let's do this. Yeah, it looks nice, grassy green. I'm just gonna put on one layer. Otherwise, we're gonna have to wait for so long for this to dry. And we don't have time. We gotta get cooking. We have lunch, we have snacks, we have the sorbet. One layer and we're off. Nails are green and I'm getting thirsty. So let's see if we can find something green to drink. Five seconds later and the nails are already ruined, but I'm not gonna fix them. We're gonna see how they look by the end of the day. Right, we're thirsty. Normally, I only drink water. Sometimes I have a coconut water and then tea. So, hmm, I don't wanna have another Corella. That was not good. Oh, I have this liquid chlorophyll. You put a few drops in a glass of water and the water turns super duper green. And there we go, a totally green water. Mm, I like the taste of this. I'm starting to think about lunch and I think I have no food in the fridge. Mm. We have some picos and olives over there. Then we have carrots that are orange. Then we have apples that are not the right color. We have parsley here and bok choy. Other than that, we need to go shopping, come on. Here's what I got, broccoli, cucumbers, lime, a couple of avocados, and zucchinis. I know what you're thinking. Is that all you're gonna eat? I may have some old peas in my freezer. Check them out. They've been in my freezer for at least a year. I hope they're not expired. June 21, we're good, and it's about time to eat them. For lunch, I'm gonna boil the broccoli in some water and in the pan, I'm gonna put in some olive oil. We're throwing in the peas and after they cook for a little bit, I'm gonna also add a chopped bok choy. Here is my green lunch in the making. I think it will taste pretty delicious. The lunch is ready and thanks God because I am hungry. The peas and bok choy, very good. The broccoli. 
could use some seasoning. I haven't used any salt, any sauces, anything on this, just olive but oil. But all in all, it's not a bad lunch. You know when you just do the same thing, the equal routine every day? The dish just kind of blend up together and you end up forgetting them. If you live life in exactly the same way for 100 days, at the end, it would kind of just feel like one, one day. day. But if you do something different, see new places, meet new people, go on adventures... You will you remember, remember that day. day. That's why people say in life you have to make memories. Try to make each day special. Make it count. That's exactly what I'm doing today. Try now something new. Eating green food the entire day. I'll probably never do this again, ever. So it will be one of a kind day and I will definitely remember it forever. I'm making memories today. When I'm gonna be 80, I'm gonna think back, remember, remember that March 15, 15 2021, 2021 when, when I ate, I ate only, only green, green food? food? It's fun, you should try it sometime. All of that broccoli really needs seasoning. That guy's not fun. The lunch has been eaten, but not entirely, because what are we missing? A dessert. We're gonna bake a kiwi sorbet. Let's put the frozen kiwi into the food processor and now I'm gonna take limes. I'm not using lemons as with mango sorbet because today we're only eating green foods. I'm using limes and I think it will work just as great. This one doesn't have any seeds so I'm just gonna squeeze it right in. I'm gonna try with one half and then if we need more we're gonna add another half. Let's squeeze it up. I think we got more like a kiwi smoothie instead of a sorbet. Kiwis were not completely frozen. I think I should have left them in the freezer for a bit longer. But this will do. This will be a nice dessert as well. OMG, I'm so excited to eat this. This looks amazing. <gasps> like a, like perfect, a perfect kiwi, kiwi slushy. Mmm, wow. This is delicious. This is a 10 out of 10. You need to try. And I'm definitely gonna do it again and I'm gonna freeze the kiwis for longer because that way we're gonna get a real sorbet. This thing is more like a chilled smoothie which is still super delicious but we need to test the sorbet as well. So yummy. I feel so energized after eating this. Mm. What else can we do today? I've been doing a little bit of shopping the past two weeks. Maybe I can show you a haul. We've been spending so much time at home the past year and most of the days I was looking like hot mess. So I decided I need some nice clothes to wear around the house. Picked up two lounge sets, one pink and one olive green. I could use this one today because green has a cropped sleeveless top like this and then some long leggings. The material of both of these sets is super super soft so I'm really looking forward to wearing that. The pink set has this nice strappy bralette and again long leggings and this one also has some buttons up Front. Then I also got some red cycling shorts just because they were on sale and I just wanted to try them out. I know they've been super popular for the last couple of years and I wanted to give them a go. In the same cozy material as the lounging sets and the biker shorts, we also have this black cropped shirt. This oversized graphic tee, I know again late to the trend but better late than never. Love the colors and the design, I think it's really cute. I can wear it with biker shorts or maybe just tucked in some jeans. Next is a really pretty kind of retro looking set that has little navy shorts with some white details and a long sleeve zip up jacket. I got another shorts and long sleeve shirt set but this time in white. The material of this one is super cozy, definitely more comfortable than the navy one. Then I also got some oversized red joggers. These ones are super super warm so maybe I will wear them more next winter but I definitely wanted something very thick, cozy and warm. Lastly I picked up this oversized hoodie from the men's section. Super warm, cozy, it has this fleece material inside and since it is oversized you can wear it with leggings, biker shorts and so on. That's all from my haul, I've been talking so much, I really need a drink. I grow mint in the garden, so I'm gonna pick up some and I'm gonna make a delicious drink. Mmm, this smells so yum. It reminds me of summer because in the summer I tend to make minty lemonades with some mint and lemon. Today I'm gonna make a similar drink with limes. I'm gonna wash the mint really well because I don't want any bugs in my drink. Let's put the mint in the glass, cut half a lime and squeeze it in the glass. Fill the glass up to the top with water and enjoy the most delicious drink ever. Mm, this is so yum. You guys need to try two ingredient recipe again. Now I'm just gonna sit here on the grass for a while, ruin my white shorts, drink this epic drink and wait for dinner. Dinner time. I'm making a salad. Cucumbers, olive, avocado and some pumpkin seeds. First we're going to peel the cucumbers. The cucumbers are peeled, so now I can take this awesome machine. It's great for slicing any sort of veggies like zucchini, cucumbers, carrots. You just kind of regulate the thickness here and you make even slices in a matter of seconds. See how easy this is? It's crazy. You have to watch out for your fingers though because this can be a bit dangerous. Imagine how long it would take me to do this with a knife and the slices would not look as pretty at all. 
Ta -da! Da! Next I'm gonna add in an avocado. This one seems really nicely soft, so I think it's gonna be delicious. I'm just gonna cut it in half, pop the seed out. It's amazing. Now I like to slice it like this, make little cubes with the knife. Then I take the spoon and scoop everything out. This will be one quick dinner. I love that. These green olives. To top it off, I'm gonna add some pumpkin seeds. They're gonna add a nice little crunch to this salad. Ooh, they have expired November last year. I'll survive. Let's mix our salad really well. A squeeze of lime juice. Lime, not lemon. Green. We are respecting the rules of this challenge. And now a little bit of olive oil. Voila, dinner is served. It seems pretty tasty, first bite, here we go. This is a good dinner for the amount of time it took to prepare. Also, I kind of like the lime as a dressing. Normally, I go for lemon, but today we had to go with lime and I'm not mad about it. So, what have we learned from today? First of all, please do not eat like I ate today. This is not a representation of how I usually eat. Normally, I have way more carbs. I have sweet potatoes, I have regular potatoes, I have rice. And I would ideally have some protein with my lunch, like salmon or maybe a little bit of chicken or turkey. So today was really not how I eat usually, but I am happy I tried something different. The leek soup was pretty nice. And the best thing was the kiwi sorbet, smoothie, slushy, whatever you want to call it. It was delicious. Definitely trying that one again too. And also lime in the salad, not bad. The dinner is gone. At this point, I would usually have some kind of dessert, but I cannot think of any green dessert. Do you guys know any good green dessert? I mean, it's gonna be too late, but still comment below. Oh, maybe some pistachio ice cream or like minty chocolate ice cream. I'm so stupid. I haven't checked the ice cream section in the store. No dessert for me, I guess. Mm. Thank you so much for following me around today and eating all the green foods with me. And I will see you very, very soon. Bye-bye.